What's up, ladies? We are back. Why am I saying ladies? Well, I say what's up, guys, every week, and some people might think that's sexist. So, shout out to the ladies that are on YouTube, although I feel like based on the comments, my audience is mostly prepubescent men who make weird comments, haterish comments. But hey, I love you guys, all of you. It's all good. I understand that YouTube comments are the trailer park of the internet. We're not gonna be mad about it. So, this week, we're gonna talk about lifting and chronic lower back pain. This is something I'm very passionate about as somebody who has incurred some lower back injuries and lower back pain. So I think the first thing I wanna talk about is the fact that an acute injury is not the same thing as chronic pain. Pain. When you look at most injuries, the actual tissue damage, the actual pain associated with the injury itself typically resolves in around six months maximum. You may still have scar tissue, you may have damaged tissue, but that pain response to an acute injury does not appear to persist. Pain science has evolved over the years, and I am not an expert in pain science, but the most widely accepted model now is what's called the biopsychosocial model of pain. We used to think that your body was basically a bag of meat that was connected to your brain and if you punch the bag or you burn the bag or you cut the bag, your brain goes owie and tells you that that hurts. Now we know that pain is far more complicated and you can have tissue damage and little to no pain. It is extremely involved and there are a lot of things that play into it. Now I'm not gonna go through this in detail because it's not my scope of practice. I would recommend all of you reading about the biopsychosocial model of pain. Barbell Medicine has some really good stuff on that. I'd recommend checking out their content. What advice we used to get from doctors if we had lower back pain was, well, you probably shouldn't lift. Or if you have a herniated disc or a bulge disc, you probably shouldn't lift. Or you have what's called degenerative disc disease, which actually just means getting older. Almost everybody has what would be considered degenerative disc disease. It is a garbage can term. If you were lifting something heavy and you felt a pop or you felt sudden pain and that pain got worse over 24 hours, that is likely like some kind of acute tissue injury and you probably need to rest and need to let yourself get to a point where your pain level is low enough that you can slowly resume activity. But when it comes to chronic non-specific pain, meaning there really isn't a reason that we can think of why you should be having pain, there's some recent studies on resistance training that have shown that resistance training actually improves chronic lower back pain. There's several randomized control trials, there's several meta-analyses. And in one of these, they actually showed that resistance training was actually better than general exercise for reducing back pain. And it's been shown to be just as good as things like yoga or aquatics. And I think it was even a little bit better in one study than aerobic exercise. This idea that if you have back pain, you should never ever lift again, that is so 1990s information right there. Again, you have to separate chronic from acute. That's the first thing. Chronic doesn't mean injury. Many times if we have something that's bothering us on and off, we think, oh, well, if it's hurting, it must mean it's injured. It's not necessarily the case. The other thing to bring up, especially with lower back pain, is people will have back pain and they'll get an MRI and it will show bulging discs or a herniated disc and they will assume, or the doctors will assume, that the bulging disc is causing their pain, and it might be. We also know that there are studies showing that at or over 50% of adults have asymptomatic bulged or herniated disc, meaning if you MRI'd them, they would have bulged or herniated disc or disc abnormalities, but they have no pain. So should these people not be lifting? Many times an acute injury occurs because of uh, velocity, load, a lot of different factors coming together, and because the person might not have been conditioned for the load and velocity that they were incurring at that time. If you are somebody who progressively resistance trained and you increase your load slowly over time, yes, you might look at somebody who squats 700 pounds and go, wow, how does that not hurt the lower back? Well, keep in mind, they didn't go from squatting the bar to 700 pounds overnight. If they tried that, yes, they would probably go to Snap City. But if you progressively overload and you build that strength, you build your core strength, you build your lower back strength, that is all protective for your spine. 
And once again, the adaptations you make are going to help protect you from that. Now, do people who lift heavy get injured? Absolutely. But the rate of injuries in resistance training sports like powerlifting, Olympic lifting, those sorts of things are lower than many other forms of sport out there. So again, can you get injured lifting heavy? Absolutely. But people who have the most chronic lower back pain are people who tend to be sedentary and overweight. So there is a happy middle ground most likely. Am I saying that, you know, going into powerlifting and trying to lift the most weight humanly possible is the best thing for your lower back? Uh, probably not, possibly not, we're not sure. But also being sedentary and not doing anything is also really bad for your lower back. It, way worse than trying to lift heavy weights. But if you just want to be healthy and be functional, exercise in general is awesome. Like we said, aquatics, yoga, Pilates, aerobic exercise all improve lower back pain, but resistance training comes with the added benefit of looking sexy. I'd recommend checking out some of the studies in the description if you don't believe what I'm saying. And if you aren't already resistance training, I gotta imagine you are, because otherwise I'm not sure why you'd be watching this stuff. But if you're having low back pain that's not due to an acute injury, don't worry, it doesn't mean you have to stop lifting. It just means you need to lower the load, adjust the tempo, or change the exercise selection to reduce your pain level to a level that's manageable. And understand that just because you might, if you are acutely injured, just because you might be in a lot of pain doesn't mean it'll last forever. I've incurred a couple of lower back injuries in my career where I've been on the floor unable to move for about a 20 to 48 hour period of time. Weeks later, squatted a PR. Don't just think because you are injured or because you have lower back pain, you can't lift anymore. That is outdated, nonsensical thinking. And if a doctor tells you that, find a new doctor. All right guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you wanna read more about this stuff, Click the links in the description. Also, while you're in the description, you know, click some of our educational products, our nutrition coaching app, you know, throw some dollars our way, help put out more good videos like this. Appreciate you guys, and I'll catch you next week.